Hey everybody and welcome back to another 2D animation tutorial. In today's video we're going to be creating an animated bird or a wing flap as you can see in the example here. And this was outlined in the Animator Survival Kit, a book by Richard Williams. I'll leave a link in the description, go ahead and check it out. So the first thing we can do is go to 2D animation and load up the 2D animation template. Now I'm just going to go through here and arrange the layout. I'm just going to make this window a little bit bigger so we can see our layers and I'm going to zoom out as well. You can use your middle mouse wheel to zoom out if you want. And for this example, I'm not going to create any construction lines. I'm just going to jump straight into it. If this was for a real project, I'd start with construction lines as we did in the character creation series. And if you've not seen those videos, there will be a link over here to the playlist. Go ahead and check that out. So for the brush, I'm going to change this to the pen tool. I also want to scroll through here and find stroke. Let's go ahead and increase smooth to two, iterations to three, and subdivisions to three as well. And let's go ahead and create some materials for us to use. So I'll go down here to the materials tab. Right now we can see we have these default materials. We're going to create a new one, then click new. And then if we go down to fill and just enable this, and then let's just change the color. So now when we draw, we'll have an outline and a filled color all in one. So this material is going to be for the body if you want to create some more materials, it's pretty simple. We can just click new, change this to the material we just created. And then if we go to this number here and click this to make it a single user, and let's rename this to what color we're going to use. Then let's go down and change it to the color that we want. And we might as well rename this to blue. And again, create as many materials as you need. So now we have our materials. Let's just move this out of the way. And at any time you can change your materials by going over here, clicking this and choosing a material. Or if you press U, it'll bring up the change active material menu and you can change it at any time you want. So I'm going to select blue, which is going to be for the main character. And we can see we have a couple of layers. Let's go ahead and rename these. So this is going to be for the head and the body. And this one is going to be for the wings. And we're keeping them separate because we don't want to be drawing the body and the head over and over again. Let's start with the bird. I'm going to hold control and hit spacebar just to go to full view. I'm also going to press T just to get rid of this toolbar here. So if you've seen the previous 2D animation tutorials, you'll know my drawing is not the best. So this uh, bird isn't going to look too great. But the idea is we're going to be focusing on the flapping wings, which is kind of the focus of this tutorial. So I'm going to keep this simple and draw a couple of circles first for the body and then one for the head. Now I'm going to press U, change the material to orange. And let's give him a beak. Let's change this to the white color and give him some eyes. I'm going to press U, change this back to blue, maybe give him a little bit of a hairstyle. Uh, we could spend more time making this look better, for example, going into either edit mode or sculpt mode and uh, tighten up these curves, making them look a lot better. So go through, make it look good, add some other details, maybe feet and things like that. But now I'm going to move on to the wings. So we need to change the layer. Again, we could go down here and select this. Or if we press Y, it brings up the change active layer menu. So that's really handy when you're in the full screen view. You can just press Y and it brings up the menu. So before we add the wings, we need to do one more thing, and that is to create a chart. We're just going to create a guide just to show us where the wing positions need to be on which frame. So instead of talking about it, let me just go ahead and show you what I mean. We need to go ahead and add a new layer. So click this button here. And you can call this whatever you want, chart, guide, uh, construction, whatever you want to call it. And it shouldn't make a difference, but I'm going to move this up a layer just so it's nice and tidy. So to create this chart, I'm going to need a circle. I'm going to press T and then go down and find the circle tool. I also want to change the material with currently using blue. So I'm going to press U and we can use solid stroke. And if we click and drag now, we can see we have this circle. If you hold shift, it'll constrain it and it'll scale up and down with equal proportions. So I'm going to create a circle and then press G. Just move this over here. So it's a bit small, I'm going to increase this. Then when you're happy with the size, we need to hit enter just to confirm that. And if we just change this back to brush, now I'm going to mark out the positions for the first frame, the second, third, fourth, and so on. And what I'm going to do is hold alt and then drag 
and we can create a straight line. So I'm going to create a straight line right across here like this. This is going to be for position one. And again, holding Alt, I'm just here like this. This is going to be for frame two. Create another one around here. This is going to be for frame three. Then for frame four, we're going to do this right in the middle. So I'm going to hold Alt and then go straight across. So this is going to be frame four. Then do another one down here. So from frame one to frame five, the wing is gonna start in the up position and go all the way down. And then when it comes back up, we're just gonna kind of mirror this. So instead of doing the lines here, which might get confusing, I'm just gonna jump over here and create the lines here. And again, we're just mirroring this part here, which is this kind of easing in and out. So again, holding Alt, I'm gonna just draw a line here and here. And this is gonna be six, frame seven, frame eight, we just go back to one. Now if I've just confused everything, don't worry, it'll all make sense in a second. First, I'm just gonna go down here to the opacity and reduce this just so it's not in the way. Now we can start to draw the wings. So let's lock this layer and let's also lock the bird layer just so when it comes to moving things around, these two things are not gonna move. So now if we select the wings layer, so we can see right now we're on frame one. Uh, let's just zoom into this timeline here. If we go into full screen by pressing control, hit spacebar, we can also see up here it says frame one, which is really helpful, especially if you want to stay in full screen as you work. So on frame one, we know that the position we need to reach is up here. And on frame two, the position is here. Frame three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going to go back to one. So let's press U, change it back to the blue material. And one more thing I wanna do, I just wanna move this wing layer above the bird layer. So I'm just gonna click this arrow here. Again, this is not gonna look pretty, but hopefully you get the idea. Since I'm bad at drawing, it'll be hard to mirror everything perfectly every time. So it's easier just to duplicate it. To do that, all we need to do is change it to edit mode. So hit tab and change to edit mode. Now I'm gonna press A just to select everything. Again, this is why we locked the other layers before. So now we can move this around without affecting everything else. So with this selected, I'm gonna press shift D, duplicate it and just move over here. Then if we press R to rotate, Z 180, and then just fine tune this over here. To change this back to the draw mode, if we press the right arrow on the keyboard, it'll just change to frame two. We can see over here, we're now on frame two. Now let's draw the next wing. And again, just jump into edit mode, select it, shift D and move it over. For the sake of this, I'm just gonna move on to frame three and then come back later on and do the rest of them. So again, make sure we jump over to frame three and again, just do the same process. Make sure we start off here where the wing started. And then if we jump to frame four. And then, then jump to frame five. So now I'm just gonna quickly duplicate these and I'll be back in a second. So once you've copied them over, we should have this frame one, frame two, three, four, five. Then if we jump to frame six, so now I'm just gonna do it on this side and then we'll copy them over to this side. So let's just zoom in a little bit more. Now instead of bringing the wings up straight, we're gonna kind of bend them. So let's start here. And again, copy it over, go into edit mode, press A, select everything. Shift D, move it over here. R to rotate, Z180. Just to rotate this and move this over. Then back into draw mode, let's move to frame seven. Again, we're gonna bend this wing. Let's change to edit mode, select all of it. You guys get the idea by now. jump back to draw mode let's press the right arrow key jump to the last frame which is frame eight and let's draw this final position let's 
So let's jump to the first frame. So we have this flap here. Now, since we're going to loop this, I'm going to just change this to frame eight. Then if we press play, we can see we have this flappy bird type thing. So now a couple of things, we just pause this by times in this by two. If you want this to last more than nine frames, what you can do is just increase this timeline is just duplicate it. Since we set this up to eight frames, it would then go back to frame one. Again, just go back to the first frame, press shift D just to duplicate it and then move these over like that. And you can do that as many times as you want. Now, the last thing I want to do is add that up and down movement, which is pretty simple. And we could actually do this in object mode. So I'm going to change this back to object mode. Let's change this from grease pencil to action editor. Then to add the first keyframe, I'm just going to press G, then hit enter. So now we can see we have this keyframe here. Now I'm going to play through the timeline. And we see as the wing goes down, the body should go up. So on frame five, let's move this body up. And the amount that you move this will always depend on your scene, what kind of bird you're going for, or what kind of action or movement you want the bird to be doing. On frame nine, we just need this to repeat. So if we shift D, move this over here, and I just want to repeat the process. So a quick command that we could do is shift R, which just repeats the last action that we did. So I'm going to hold shift and press R. And I'm just going to keep doing that. So now you could move the bird around, uh, move it across the screen, up and down, closer, whatever you want to do. Add a background and go ahead and render it out. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed making it. Um, if you want to see more 2D animation tutorials, be sure to subscribe. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.